Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to share with you how I make a delicious California burrito. In case you guys want to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Okay guys, so first we're going to begin by making our guacamole. So we're going to mix three avocados, three Roma tomatoes, a half of a purple onion, chile serrano, and cilantro. So it's just mash your avocados. Okay, so once we have smashed our avocado, we're going to squeeze one whole lime. So get the juice. We're going to season it with garlic salt. A little bit of salt and black pepper. Okay, so now just mix everything together. Okay, so once we have our guacamole, just try it for salt. For me, it's perfect. So now we're just going to cover it and we're going to put it in a refrigerator until we're ready to use. Okay, so now we're going to get our meat ready. Here I have three pounds of plain steak. Just make sure that you cut it into small pieces. And we're going to squeeze one lime or one lemon and one lime. We're also going to add three tablespoons of olive oil and we're going to season it with Chef Merito. So I'm using about three tablespoons and a half, garlic, salt, and black pepper. Okay, so just mix it all together. Okay, so once we have our meat ready, now we are ready to begin cooking. Okay, so for our french fries, I have my potatoes here soaking. They've been soaking for about an hour in cold water. So now I'm just going to remove the water and make sure that you dry them really good. Alrighty, so once we drain them, we're just going to pat them dry. And of course, you can use frozen french fries and just skip this step. Okay, so now our potatoes are ready. So now we can begin cooking. Okay, so we're going to grab our skillet. We're going to set it on medium high heat and we're going to wait for it to heat up. And in a frying pan, we're going to set it on medium heat. We're going to add oil. And we're just going to allow it to heat up. Okay, so once our skillet is ready, we're going to add our meat. Just make sure that it's in a single layer. And we're just going to cook our meat. Okay, so after seven minutes, our meat is ready. Of course, just check it. You can see it's nice and tender. And at this point, you can also try it for salt. For me, it's perfect. So now we're just going to remove it from the heat and we're going to repeat the same process to the rest of our meat. Okay, so at this point, our oil should be nice and hot. So now we're going to throw in some potatoes. And we're going to fry them for five minutes. Make sure that they're not crowded. Okay, so after five minutes, we're going to remove our french fries from the oil. Drain them in a kitchen towel. And we're going to repeat the same process to the rest of our french fries. Okay, so once we fried our french fries one time, now we're going to turn up our heat to medium high. And we're going to allow it to heat up again. Okay, so once the oil is ready, we're going to fry again. Make sure that you do it in batches. And we're just going to fry until our potatoes are nice and golden. Okay, so once our french fries are nice and golden, we're going to remove them from the oil. And they should be nice and crispy. And I'm just going to season them with black pepper. Okay, and now we're just going to repeat the same process to the rest of our french fries. Okay, so once we have our french fries ready, now we are ready to put our delicious California burritos together. Alrighty guys, and now for the fun part, making our burritos. So here I already grilled my tortilla. So we're going to add our meat. And you add as much as you want. Okay, we're going to add our french fries. Going to top it with some Mexican blend cheese. And lastly, our guacamole. Okay, so now we're going to grab the end. So grab the ends and we're going to roll it. And just like that, we have our delicious California burrito. All right, so now we're just going to cut it in half. And just like that, now we are ready to enjoy our delicious California burrito. All right, you guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. I am so ready, you guys. Let me tell you that this is one of my favorite burritos. 
And I'm just going to add a little bit of salsa verde. And now we're ready to enjoy. So cheers and enjoy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Seriously, it's super delicious. Everything is perfect. Nothing beats homemade. Alrighty guys, and there you have it, how to make a delicious California burrito. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and if you agree with this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys keep part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.